Welcome back to the bungalow. Look at that. Wow. Yikes. <laughs> I'm just kidding, buddy. Um, congratulations on all the subs, man, and all of your success through your channel. Um, I know there's been times where you feel like you've been struggling, but you've actually just been chugging right along pretty consistently. So congratulations. Um, you have a goal going on, and I know it's your goal, so you can do what you want, according to the last video you shot uh, in regards to the comfort food. So guess what? Cup of mud in hand. BRTV. Check it out. Link will be in the root cellar. And um, so this is my VR. So guess what? I'm going to do it the way I want to do it. So how you like that? Yeah, how you like that? Hmm? 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 <laughs> so here, here we go. Let me take a sip of mud here first. All right. All right, all right, all right. So, you, I'm against someone saying, well, you know, you're a beginner, you should start on aromatics. Um, I don't like the idea, I'm also against the idea of if you're starting to smoke cigars, well, you should smoke Connecticut's. Because not everybody does that. I didn't do that. I started with a pretty strong Maduro cigar. Um, and uh, it was because of the way I drink my coffee, the food I eat, and everything else. So, like, the questions I was asked by the retailer who turned me on to it gave me this cigar and said, Here. This is what I think you should try first. So I was like, okay. So that's what I did. Um, and um, let's see here. So with pipe tobacco, um, my journey started with aromatic for about a month, and then I went right to English blends. So any words, let's get into this. Um, Depending on the season, depending on, you know, if you have just a sweet tooth, then maybe you st should start with a aromatic. Um, if you like, you know, your coffee pretty strong and no sugar and stuff, maybe you should start with something a little different. Um, a Burley, a Virginia would go well with that. Something in that lines. So, if you got a sweet tooth... Now, I think you should start with this right here. What is this? This is Peter Stokeby's Champagne. Um, it's a really nice aromatic. Peter Stokeby's uh, makes it. It smells really good. And it's not like overly topped either, I don't think. Um, it does have a really nice aromatic to it. Uh, it's definitely nice to smoke when... When the wife's around and, and we're in the car or something like that, that's what I'll go to. Now, if you want to start with, if they seem, you seem to think they're going to start with a vapor, I would definitely recommend this right here. Peter Stokeby's Bullseye Flake. Inexpensive, you can buy it by the ounce so you're not wasting a ton of money. The same with the other one. These are also almost all uh, bulk. So therefore, it's an inexpensive get-in, you know. So I would say Peter Stoke would be Bullseye Flake would be fantastic for a good starter as well. Then if they decide that they like the idea of a, of a fresh cut grass or a hay note, something like that, then I would suggest this right here which you can buy this in a tin, but you can also buy it by the ounce, which is Cornell and Deal's Derringer. Love this Virginia. Oh my God, I love this Virginia. Uh, Cornell and Deal Derringer, really good blend. Now, 
if they feel, if you feel like they're going to be a burly person, um, I would definitely go with this one. HH Burley Flake. Great burly. Love it. Fantastic. It smokes great. That's where I would go. Now, since it's my VR, that's right, my VR. Mm -hmm, that's right, yeah. Um, I also did four cigars that I thought you should start with. Now, um, the first one is a really decent light $5 stick. Alec Bradley Project 40. Great stick. Fantastic. I enjoy this stick. This is a great everyday stick for me. Uh, around 100 bucks a box. And I love this cigar. Love this cigar. So even a person who's been smoking for, what, 13 years now? Um, you know, it, it, it's, it's a... Um, a really good uh, cigar. The next up is a Connecticut blend, but it's Connecticut with balls. And that's the AJ Fernandez New World. Um, I mean, it, it's got a punch to it is what I'm telling you. It's got a little bit of a punch to it. But if you like a coffee stronger or an espresso or you're a bourbon drinker, this would be good with that. This would kind of take you a little bit off with the bourbon. It may change your palate with the bourbon. Um, so that's always a, a good thing with that. Next up, we're starting to get a little on the heavier side. And um, I don't mean, well, I shouldn't say that because these are medium body as well. Uh, this one here is the Camacho Ecuadorian. This is a great cigar. Really like this cigar. This is my favorite Camacho stick. Um, it is really, really good, reasonably priced. And I really enjoy it. So it's a medium body. Uh, that's a good starter stick as well. Maybe not the first stick they should smoke, but it should be definitely in this first five. Just to, you, you got a, another key to starting smoking cigars, in my opinion, is to maybe start with a Connecticut, okay? A lighter uh, cigar. And then instead of working, Work your way around the wrappers, you know, go to a Habano, go to a Sun Grown, go to a Sumatra, you know, go to a Maduro, go to a, um, a, uh, Oscuro, you know, bounce around and do those and really get a feel for them. So, but last but certainly not least, my first cigar, Partagas, uh, Fuente. Oscar Fuente, I think it is, is how it's pronounced, I believe. On the medium to full side of things, after a good meal, this is a great stick. This is a fantastic stick. This should be probably, um, I'd say maybe closer to your top first 10 sticks. Um, I would say more closer to 10 than, you know, three or four. You should definitely wait a little bit and build up to it, but it's a great stick. Um, so those are mine. Now for comfort food, man, gee, my comfort food is in the summer, it's definitely something off the grill, whether it be a cheeseburger or a brat. Um, that is my comfort food. In the winter time or in the fall, I am definitely a chili or um, grilled cheese and tomato soup guy. Definitely. Go-tos. Um, so uh, that's my, my thoughts on it. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this VR. I'm going to try to keep it under 10. We're getting close here. So... Um, those are my answers. I hope you enjoy this. Congratulations again, brother. You are a class act, and um, I appreciate you. And uh, until we can get together and pack a pipe or smoke a great cigar, let all that you do be done in love. Y'all take care and God bless.